Hi, welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. In this episode, we'll be looking at InDesign and we'll be looking at how you can use the glyphs panel to help add special characters to your document. So for example, we're looking at this document here. Um, if I come down to this last dot point here where I've got winning cafes, I don't have a tilde over the top of my cafes or an accent and I'd like to add that. Now you can do that with a keyboard shortcut, but if you've forgotten the keyboard shortcut, then you can open up the glyphs, which are basically all of the available characters in any particular typeface. So to get to the glyphs panel, we can do it from two places. If we go up to type and then scroll down to glyphs, I can open it up from there. It is also available from window. If I scroll down from window and go down to type and tables and then glyphs there, you can see that's available from that drop down. Okay, so what have we got here? We've basically got the entire range of characters that are available in a particular typeface. I can choose to view subcategories. So if I wanted to look at maybe just symbols, um, so there you go, I've got all of my available symbols in this particular font that I've been using. So the font that's selected here is Myriad Pro um, that I've used in my document. Um, and you know, I can scroll down and have a look at a whole bunch of other ones, um, slash zeros if they're available, yes they are. I'll go back to um, the entire font. Now at the moment they're a little bit small for me to view. So I can actually increase the size of the preview here by clicking on the zoom in button in the lower right corner. So I'll just do that a couple of times to bring them up nice and big. Okay, so I'll just scroll down and try and find it. Here we have it. All right, so that's the character I want. What I need to do is come across and in my document, just select where I'd like to place that. So I'll just highlight that E there with the type tool and then double click on the E with an accent. And there we go. It's added that in for me. Now there might be times when you need unusual characters such as these sort of symbols that you might want to use as dot points or bullet points. You can grab a whole bunch of interesting characters in other typefaces. So in Myriad Pro they have some pretty standard you know A to Z and um, numerals but if we click on the available fonts down here at the bottom and I can scroll down come all the way down to say wingdings or webdings and here we have a whole bunch of arrows that I can choose from under wingdings 3. So glyphs are a great way to, or the glyphs panel is a great way to very quickly grab characters should you forget their shortcut key on the keyboard and also if you want to add any unusual uh, characters or interesting artwork, clip art, um, to your publication. Hopefully you found this tip useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next short and sweet video.